We get used to the idea that evolution is so good at producing beautiful, elegant animals that look as though they've been designed. We forget that sometimes they're not perfect and there are imperfections. And the imperfections are very re revealing because they're exactly the kind of imperfections you'd expect from the accidents of history if there were no designer. There's a nerve called the recurrent laryngeal which runs from the brain and its end organ is the larynx and you think it would just go straight there but in a human what it does is goes down into the chest loops around one of the main arteries in the chest and then goes straight back up again obviously a ridiculous detour no engineer would ever make a mistake like that in our bodies the laryngeal nerve takes a circuitous route but what happens in an animal with a neck as long as this it's one of the great evolutionary enigmas that Richard Dawkins is keen to resolve in the flesh. Interestingly, it's never been dissected out, or only once before has it ever been dissected out in its full length, and that was in 1838. Don't cut it at this crucial moment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too good an animus for that. <laughs> you have to trust me now. <laughs> what I'm actually holding here is the beginning of that nerve. It actually starts out not as a separate nerve, but as a branch coming off of a bigger nerve called the vagus nerve. And this is going to keep running all the way down the body. So you'll see it again over here, all the way down the neck on both sides. So you can see it again right there. Yes. And this is going to wrap around the great vessels coming out of the heart. So here it is wrapping around that, and then it continues right there. So here's yes. the vagus going yes. down, and here's the vagus continuing. Right. And right over here, there's a branch right yes. there. So it's looping and it's coming back, it's doing a U-turn all the way down here. So it's traveled that entire distance to make a U-turn to go all the way back up again. And so now we can follow it going back up again. So we follow this branch. And if we look, we see it again over here. Here it is. Like that. And here you see it going up. This is the voice box, the larynx. And so you can see it going right into the back of the larynx here. And as it innervates this area, it controls the muscles that then control making sounds, but also coordinating breathing and swallowing in this area. So this is a very important nerve. Interestingly, where it ends is pretty close to where it started. It started here, coming out of the brain. It really only needed to go about two inches. Yes, amazing. But it went all the way down and came yes. all the way back. Yes. That's a beautiful example of historical legacy as opposed to design. Exactly. I, this is not an intelligent design. No. An intelligent design <laughs> would be to go from here to here. Yes. <laughs> It does kind of beg the question, though, that even in an animal that might have been many millions of years ago with its head down here, why, why the route round the blood vessels, the, unless there was a reason that they were there to innovate something else? Well, that was in, in earlier ancestors, then, then it was the most direct route uh, in fish. So it is a, it's, just a kind of, it is, it's just inherited. It's a historical, it's a historical legacy. It's yeah. a... Fish really don't have much of a neck, yes. so there isn't any extension to worry about in a fish. It just goes directly there. Once you introduce a mammalian neck, you start to get a longer neck, now the heart is displaced down lower. It turns out the laryngeal nerve first evolved in fish-like creatures as a direct link from the brain to gills near the heart. Over millions of generations, this nerve gradually lengthened, each small step always simpler than a major rewiring to a more direct route. Remember that a designer, an engineer, can go back to the drawing board, throw away the old design, start afresh with what looks more sensible. A designer has foresight. Evolution can't go back to the drawing board. Evolution has no foresight.